and uh, we'll come back right at the end of the show. We'll check it out. Okay, Ron, thanks. Yeah, yeah that's starting off looking amazing. Well, in our Ask the Expert segment today, we're talking with Dr. Benjamin Horn, and um, folks at the Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute are looking into the benefits, health benefits of fasting and diabetes. So tell us about the study you're doing. Well, we've been studying fasting for a period of about 10 mm -hmm. years, and we've done a number of studies in which we've been able to study fasting because a large proportion of the Utah population fasts on a routine basis. And through those studies, we found that uh, routine periodic fasting, not, not eating anything, uh, any f food for a, an extended period of time, has a, a people who do that have a lower risk of diabetes and also mm. coronary artery disease. Okay. And we've gone on a recent study that we've just completed that is being published this year in a, an academic medical journal. We found that asking people to fast for a period of 24 hours, drinking water only, and consuming nothing else, we found that there are a number of metabolic uh, changes in their bodies that were unexpected mm -hmm. and that potentially have uh, prolonged effects uh, due to that 24-hour that fast. what kind of fast. changes? What, what did you notice? Um, these are changes related to uh, potentially uh, metabolizing uh, fat cells in the body mm -hmm. and uh, uh, renewing the, the insulin, um, the, the sensitivity to insulin. Um, human growth hormone went up substantially, ah. which has uh, potential. It's an antagonist to insulin, which are the that's the process that insulin becomes body becomes resistant to insulin. And you said in to, diabetes. to fast for 24 hours, but how often between that time? Well, that's you what do we it? don't know, and so oh, we okay. have a new study that we're starting now that we're going to study period of time how long Between. people should be fasting and in this study individuals who are pre-diabetic or have diabetes and control it by diet alone they, they can't be on any uh, medications to control diabetes mm -hmm. but they will be asked to fast once a week for a period of five weeks to see what metabolic changes occur okay. uh, during that period. And that's a study that you, when will that start? That is started just now, okay. um, a few weeks ago, and we're people? recruiting patients, okay. uh, participants actively in that. And, uh, and what can people do if they want to participate in the study? Where can they get a hold of you? They can call us at Intermountain Medical Center, and, uh, and I believe we've provided the mm -hmm. uh, phone number, hopefully is on your screen. Yes, we and, will, uh, it will definitely be on our website. Um, they'll. They must have be pre-diabetic or, or ha okay. and also have metabolic um, okay. conditions. That sounds great. So for more information, just go to our website, KUTV.com, and we'll be right back after this.